Vice President Joe Biden, drafted by President Obama to spearhead the effort to find a cure for cancer. He said this in last night's State of the Union address. You know, last year, Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. So tonight I'm announcing a new national effort to get it done. And because he's gone to the mat for all of us on so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. What do you say, Joe? And joining us now from Washington is Vice President Joe Biden. Always good to, to see you, Mr. Vice President. And we, we heard what the president said last night. We know this is very personal for you because of your beloved son, Bo. What does this mean, this role, and what exactly does it entail for you, sir? Well, uh, it's not sure exactly what it entails, but a couple months ago after Bo passed, I said that I wanted to be when I was deciding not to run for president, I said, had I run, I would like to have been the leader of a major moonshot that would cure cancer. Because mm -hmm. you know, Robin, <clears throat> God love you, you look so good going through what mm -hmm. you went through, and thank God you're beating it. You know uh, that every single family in America has been affected by cancer. It's the largest killer in the world, and we are so close so incredibly close on finding cures and fundamental changes and making it a, a chronic disease in many cases and not a and not a uh, death sentence. It is extremely complicated and everybody knows there are various forms of cancer and I know the president yes last night said you know we've got to fix politics but when you look at the federal funding um, under the Obama administration uh, cancer research fundings increased only slightly. How are you going to get the Republican Congress to fund some of these things that you want to accomplish? The Republicans have already reached out. <clears throat> this is a place where there's really common ground. And we, we added another billion dollars uh, to the pot, to the NIH, uh, um, uh, uh, this past budget. Mm -hmm. I think we can generate a consensus here. You have 75% of the people who have uh, cancer of some form, and uh, right. they 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 never get to go to the uh, the, uh, the the great research hospitals. It's, it's I look a, forward to talking to you about we it. We are right. going to talk more about that. And lastly, as you know, so many people have gone through what your family has gone through these last eight months. What has helped you, sir? What has helped you and your family? Well, uh, uh, my faith and my. Uh, my knowledge that uh, my son uh, was um, was ready to go. He said, "I'm not afraid, Dad." Um, and uh, there's a, there's an over being able to just sit there and literally with his brother and I holding his hand. Uh, it uh, it it uh, you know he was a boy that he's a man. He was attorney general, but he he was a boy always worried about worrying about us and. Um, and so we focused on uh, all the, uh, the inspiration Bo was rather than the loss. It's, and you know how hard it is to get through the holidays, mm -hmm. but we're getting mm -hmm. through it. We got, you know, we're a strong family. And I, have, I, I think of all the people who have gone through what I've gone through without one-tenth the help that I've had. I mean, uh, and uh, they're the people that I really admire. But I thank God have a big and a close family. And we mourn together, but we're rising together. Well, thank you, sir, for your grace, and you will be hearing from me. You oh. will definitely be hearing from me. Okay. Thank you for all your years of Stay service. Healthy. God love you, kiddo. Yeah. This could be, this thank could be, Ed, after all these 40 years, this could be your greatest legacy, the moonshot, the moonshot. I hope so. All right. You I, take I care. I hope so. We'll see thank you soon. You.